Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23481. This build has an interesting set of new features and also fixes that we're going to talk about in this video as always. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is providing ISOs on their official website so you can just go into the official Microsoft website scroll down and select the edition that you're interested in for example Windows Insider dev channel build 23481 confirm we're gonna have to select the product language of course for example English United States confirm and Microsoft will provide the ISO to you as I've said the build 23481 the latest build regarding improvements in this build Microsoft is adding some improvements for Windows Inc so Windows Inc is being modernized to allow users to enable inking directly into edit fields. In addition, Microsoft is improving the accuracy from the recognition technology and a scratch out gesture for when users need to make edits. This is a feature that is slowly rolling out to insiders, so you may not see right away. But of course, if you want to learn more about this, you can check out the article below in the video's description. We now have some changes regarding the folder options in File Explorer. So Microsoft is removing a handful of old settings under folder options in File Explorer. You can find those settings by clicking on these three dots and then options and then view and they are removing these settings as part of an effort to clean up the number of settings for file explorer many of these are legacy settings that have been around for ages and are not being regularly used by users on windows 11. the following settings will no longer appear under folder options in file explorer we will no longer have hide folder merge conflict always show icons never thumbnails display file icon on thumbnails display file type information on folder tips hide protected os files show drive letters show pop-up description for folder and desktop items, show encrypted or compressed NTFS files in color, use sharing wizard. But of course, as a note for Microsoft, these settings can still be accessed via the registry keys, so you can enable them if you want manually. Microsoft is also adding a new widget, which is called Focus Session. This is again slowly rolling out, so this is coming as a part of a clock app update. So if you want to have a chance to test this out, you should update your clock app inside the Microsoft Store. But to add this widget, just click on the widget section click on the plus button and you should have this new widget focus section you can click on pin and the widget should be pinned right here and this is basically the same focus section that you can encounter in windows 11 where you can add a focus session click on the start button and you'll have a set number of minutes where you will no longer get notifications from apps and windows regarding the taskbar and system tray never combine mode which enables you to see each window of your applications on the taskbar individually which began rolling out with the build 23466 is now available to all Windows Insiders in the dev channel. This is great news. Also, starting with this build, chat is now Microsoft Teams free. Microsoft Teams free is pinned by default to the taskbar and can be unpinned like other apps on the taskbar. Regarding the File Explorer, the ability to tear out and merge tabs in File Explorer, which began rolling out with the build 23471, is now available to all Windows Insiders in the dev channel. So this is a great feature, which can be very useful. Regarding voice access, the new text authoring experiences in voice access Access that began rolling out with build 23466 is now available to all Windows Insiders in the dev channel. Alongside with that, we also have some features that were discovered by Phantom Ocean 3. So for example, in the start menu, if we click on all apps, we will start to see labeling for apps. At the moment, this is how it works. You can see that Microsoft is labeling the system apps as system so i think this is pretty interesting in the start menu if you right click on the desktop and then click on personalize in the personalization section if you scroll down you'll notice new option device usage with some interesting options and if you have the new dev home app if you enable the development section the dev home app should be opened up and you should be able to start using that application as easy as that so i think this is also pretty interesting and this could be a nice addition in this build and also in this build we're starting to see the first glimpses of the new windows copilot app or assistant that we will have in windows 11 which is an ai assistant that will help users finish their tasks more easily so as you can see we have a nice little animation in the taskbar here there are already some guides on how to enable the windows copilot but i haven't um, managed to get it to work right now i only have this icon right here that does a nice little animation but of course once i have more info and once i know for sure how you can enable certain things i'll make a different video or an article on the website so this is it regarding new features and improvements in this build now let's talk about a few fixes regarding the dev drive microsoft fix an issue where filters beyond av might be attached to your dev drive on reboot and also fix an issue which could cause a bug check when
when using DevDrive. Regarding File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where the icons in the File Explorer context menu could be blurry. They also fixed an issue where sync status icons for files backing up to a storage provider were not reliably displayed. Also fixed an issue for authentication errors on File Explorer Home where the please sign in button appeared but clicking on it did not pop up the authentication dialog. They also updated show files from office.com text and folder options to include account-based insights, recent favorite, and recommended files. Using Ctrl plus V to paste an image in gallery will now paste the image onto your default pictures folder. The default folder can be configured under collection, manage collection in gallery. If you hover your mouse over the details button file explorer, the tooltip should no longer block the close button for the window. Regarding the modernized address bar in file explorer, Microsoft fixed the direction of the search icon within the tab when doing a search in file explorer, fixed an issue where tabbing or shift plus tabbing from the command bar wouldn't land focus inside the current folder, fixed an issue where if you set focus into the address bar to edit the path, you wouldn't be able to use tab to move focus out of it. And also if the current path is longer than the available space in the address bar, a bit of room now has been added so you can still click and go into edit mode. And also related to the new modernized File Explorer Home, Microsoft fixed an issue where hovering over the folders in the quick access section of Home was causing the name to disappear and the icon to slide to the side if you had checkboxes enabled. And also dragging and dropping into the favorites or quick access sections should work again now. Regarding the search on the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue where navigating the search file out on the taskbar with the keyboard arrow keys did not work as expected. So this is it for the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Div channel, the build 23481. You can find more information about this build in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickPaste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TickPaste. Until next time, have a nice day.